All right, friends, it's T-Man, and I'm back with a video on Greg Doucette. Yes, man, he just popped this up. This is going to be really interesting, man. Old Greg versus new Greg. Fake, I think it's the fake Greg versus the, or the, well, I guess they were both fake. Old Greg versus the fake Greg. Yeah. <laughs> Old Greg, new Greg. Okay, whatever. Anyways, let's uh, let's review this video, man. Uh, Greg Doucette, the gym lifting, recruiting lifting slave and steroid uh slave whatever you want to call him i don't know and acti builder slave <laughs> supplement slave too uh, recruiting uh supplement slave says ex fanboy you are the liar oh an ex fanboy you're the liar all right i hate that he's not real anymore am i an, an ai generated image He hates that he's not real anymore. When, 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 what is he real? Coach Greg and boy, do I love these kind of videos. So we got this guy, his name is Camara Fitness and he makes a video, it's called Greg Doucette's Worst Scam Yet, Don't Fall For This. And throughout the video, he lies, he gets everything wrong and he uses my name as clickbait because why? He didn't lie and he didn't get anything wrong. He, he's giving his opinion about you and it's an honest opinion. So how could, why would he lie for? He's your fanboy. Why would a fanboy lie? Oh, it's so easy to say that this guy's bad because he's selling us stuff. And <laughs> I want to attack the big guy. You know that famous rich guy over there? I hate <clears throat> him because he's doing... Famous rich guy over there? How do you know he's not rich? The kid. It looks pretty well, well to... Well, well, whatever. It looks well. Something that I can't. Well, I'm going to attack him because everyone is going to support me. They're going to simp to me because I'm picking on the big bad guy. And so I'm going to watch his video and school him on all the bullshit that he's saying. And right now you're thinking. Does he not have a right to give his opinion, Greg, like you do? How about how about when you do those natty or not videos? You make you piss off people trying to trying to accuse people of being not natty or natty or not natty or some bullshit. But as soon as somebody talks about Greg Doucette... Oh my God, the world is coming down, bro. Ha, ha, ha. I'm on his side. It's like David yeah. versus Goliath. But the problem is Goliath's a lot bigger, a lot smarter. Weren't you, David, trying to come after all the Goliaths, trying to build your channel off of the backs of Natty or Not videos? Greg, so what are you talking about, man? It's going to show you the bullshit that this guy keeps saying. One of my main philosophies is that I'm not a product pusher, man. I don't have a supplement line. I'm all about truth and I have no ulterior motive. I genuinely just want to give you guys the best advice possible. But of course, because he's giving his honest opinion and it's not for any of these things, he must be full of shit, right? According to Greg, right? Because he's, 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 he's going, he's David going after Goliath. <laughs> So we can trust everything he says, right? I mean, it's not like he's trying to get famous. He's not trying to use my name to get that fame. It's not like... Listen, man, Desi Gym Fitness is bigger than you, Greg. So what are you talking about? And he grew his channel way faster than you. He wants to be a famous social media influencer. And so we can believe everything he says. Remember, I was once him. I once had 380 followers and I just posted stuff on YouTube. And eventually it got famous. But did that mean I started to lie? No, you didn't. You didn't get famous by just posting stuff online. Nobody was watching you until you started doing what? The Natty or Not videos, Greg. And by the way, you look really bloated there. When was this video? This was just a couple of years ago. Man, have you aged in a couple of years, accelerated aging? I don't think so. I tell you the truth. If a product works, I say it works. If it doesn't work, I tell you it doesn't work. Remember those videos about steroids, SARMs, and so on? Did I? They don't, they don't work. They don't work, Greg. Don't lie. They don't work. I don't tell you the good, the bad, the ugly. And so when I talk about supplements, I'm telling you the truth. If it works, I'll tell you it works. If it doesn't, I'll tell you it doesn't work. I'm not. What are you talking about? The, the supplements, they don't work. They don't build muscles. Not like a Greg hater even. I was a Greg fanboy, bro. Like, dude, I owe a ton of my gains for, to Greg. Well, Coach Greg right now is saying that Turk Builder helped me to build muscle. That it also had steroids. That kid uh, attributes his small tiny fake gains to greg Doucette. no that's a little bit crazy that's reaching over the top but okay bro whatever 
like effects and i do believe there was a major disclaimer on the screen it said exactly what those were and i described them for example when taking turk builder it made it harder for me to sleep it potentially gave me anxiety it made me more aggressive in the gym and so those are steroid like effects has anyone out there taken things like tren or testosterone sometimes it makes it harder to sleep you get for example trensomnia and so when taking turk builder i warn people it's very very potent and I don't want to just say all the- I don't know what I should call this, fanboy slave? The guy's a fanboy slave. That's what he is. He's a slave to Greg Doucette. Talk to, man, I tried to explain people what this slavery thing is. I think still people don't understand. You are a slave to Greg Doucette. And until you, only, un, you know, un, until you take off the shackles, then you are all shackled as fanboys to this motherfucker. Get it? <laughs> all of you are slaves to Greg Doucette. He's enslaved 2.7 million lifting gym supplement slaves. Get it? And if you're buying his cookbook, you're a slave to his cookbook too and everything else. Good things it does without saying the bad. Does it sound like a good side effect to say it makes it harder to sleep? I don't think so. When do I take Turk Builder in the morning? Why do I not take it before going to the gym as a pre work Do you guys think the Turk Builder is what's creating this artificial look on his body? Give me fucking break, man. You people have to be really deranged to believe Why? That. Because it makes it harder to sleep. And so I wanted to be honest. Steroid yeah. like effects did not say it puts on as much. He wanted to be honest. It has a supplement has steroid like effects. If it did, it would be regulated by uh, FDA. It wouldn't be available. It is taking trend. Didn't say that, but it sounds cooler and it's flashier to say, Coach Greg, he's a snake oil salesman. He's saying that it has steroid like effects. He's doing that to sell these supplements because he just wants more Girl, money. They've come down on him so hard already and remove all these things. They know these supplements are fake. They don't work. They don't work. Even last time. Or is it that I'm just trying to be honest? I mean, it's one of those two things, which... You mean it could build artificial muscles, like draw more energy into the muscle, like glycogen proteins? Yeah, glycogen, yeah, it could do that, possibly. I don't know, maybe it does. Maybe that's what supplements do. They create these phony muscles, okay? But, but Greg is, is going to try to convince you that fake is real. Fake muscles built by glycogen with glycogen. Glycogen-filled muscles are real muscles. They're not real. They're not real. Could it be? Could it be that Turk Builder actually made it harder for me to sleep? Could it be it made me more aggressive in the gym? Could it be that it actually gave me anxiety? Could it be? But guess what? It doesn't. It's just he's imagining it. He's pretending. He's telling you these things. He's telling you all what you want to hear, what you want to hear. That that Turk Builder is going to build you, magic, magically build you muscles. Yes, eat this bark and you're going to magically build muscles, guy. Get it? He's the typical snake salesman out there, yes. Is that possible? Because Greg Doucette seems to think that as long as you took turkesterone, you know, f***ing global events in 2020 could have been prevented. As long as everybody in the world was just on turkesterone. I mean, it's fun to make jokes and say these things, but is it in fact true? And so, given the past, joke around, say that... It is true. That Greg said that turkesterone cures cancer, it solves world's hunger, it does all these things. We all know that's what my cookbook does. It's not Turk Builder. But hey, let's go with that. If you don't know what his claim is... Of course he had to say, put that in their cookbook, right? Jesus. Were for the Ed Keisterone, it was actually insane. Bro claimed that he gained four pounds of muscle in a f***ing month. And so when I said four pounds of muscle, let me be very specific to what that meant. The scale went up four pounds and my body fat did not increase. I looked bigger. See, the scale went up. He Now he's, he's, man, this is misdirection, bro. Get it? This is fake advertising, but you just don't realize what he's doing here. He's not really telling. He's just telling weight went up. So he gained four pounds. Cooler, I was stronger. Mu but when he says four pounds of muscle, ah, uh, it didn't tell you what kind of muscle it was. Is this myofibular growth or sarcoplasmic? It's artificial muscle growth. Much better. Four pounds in a month. Is that the same as saying, as saying 40 pounds in 10 months? No. Did I say that you're going to continue to build four pounds per month indefinitely? No. Did I put on four pounds in a month? Yes. People who take steroids, man, like there's, okay, you know, just like four pounds in a month. But was it that, what you think the tablet put on that four pounds? A little, a little tiny tablet can put on you. All you people think that a little tiny tablet can put four pounds of muscle on you. 
See what I mean? Magically. No. Keep on upping the dose and continuously get bigger. And Greg Doucet, by his own by his own admission, hit his genetic ceiling. So here's the difference. Do you know that I'm now 24 pounds of muscle less than when I was at my biggest when I was on steroids? And so I'm not saying that they put on four pounds of muscle on top of me using trend and test, growth hormone, so on. But it put on four pounds compared to now. Do you see the difference? You lose 24 pounds and you gain back four. Does that mean it's as powerful as steroids? Last I checked, that's one sixth as powerful. And so is it possible that it helped me one sixth as much as testosterone, trend, and so on? Maybe. But now he's claiming that Turk Builder, the new one, is even better than that. So what's it going to do for me, man? Am I going to gain eight pounds of muscle? It's even better than that. <laughs> <laughs> this is funny shit, man. You might gain three cringe. pounds, but have increased in... This is cringe, fanboy, fucking man. This shit's hilarious. Endurance in the gym, more power, be stronger. There are more metrics on how good a supplement is than just how much muscle... You know, Greg Doucette has enslaved 2.7 million fanboy slaves. <laughs> like this. Like this kid, like this dude, because they're easily brainwashed. It can put on. There is, how does it make you feel? If you've watched all those steroid videos I've made in the past, you know it's not just how much muscle you put on, it's also how much strength does it put on? Does it increase your appetite, decrease your appetite, increase sense yeah, of well-being? How much strength does it put on? How much strength does it put on? You take this tablet, and guess what? It's going to magically put on strength, because you don't have any strength, right? You don't have no strength. You got you to induce it artificially because you're all weak. <laughs> what, you think this is fake? You think this is fake? You think I, Greg Doucette, would fake this turkesterone? You think I, despite having done it once already, would fake this? And so in case you're wondering, I never lied to anyone. I never said, hey, I'm going to sell you turkesterone and I'm going to put some creatine in the bottle and fake it. This is what this guy is trying to make it look like. Hey, he says, do you think I would put creatine in the bottle? He's admitting it to you right now. Hey, guys, do you think I would fake it? I would put creatine in the bottle? <laughs> it's another supplement, isn't it? Creatine to fake, creating fake muscles. Did I somehow... See, he's trying to advocate that that turkestron doesn't work the same like uh, creatine. What does creatine do? Put water in your muscles. What does that create? Phony muscles. Fake water muscles. Okay. What does turkestron do exactly? See what I mean? What does it do exactly? How does it build a muscle? He never really elaborates and tells you how this capsule or tablet builds a muscle, this, this supplement lied purposely to see you to try to get your money didn't do that what actually happened is that iso certified lab testing the ones that the government recognizes fda standards oh, all yeah. said this is turkestrone but when they did mass spectrometer testing advanced level testing that's not needed to be done they found it was turkestrone's cousin slightly different both effective but but how does it build muscles greg how does it build a, a muscle that isn't damaged See what I mean? You're adapted. How did, but, but anyways, just regardless, how does it build a muscle? Slightly different. And now just to saying, hey, is this red pain? Somebody put a yellow drop of pain into it. It's not really red pain. It's reddish yellow pain. There's a drop of yellow. It changed it slightly. And the testing couldn't detect that. It was slightly off, but the mass spectrometer, very good test, said, no, it's slightly different. And do we have the testing to prove this? Yes. Have you looked? No. And so you say, I'm making this shit up. Oh, he's saying go test it, but it costs tens of thousands of dollars. Who would ever test it? It's been tested. Go look it up. It's literally on the website. Alchemist Labs, their professor testing ectosteroids since the 1990s. It's on the website. Let's go ahead. Yes, okay, it's been tested. Then this and that, it's a supplement, whatever. It's not a drug, it's a supplement, okay? But how does it build muscles, Greg? How? How? And see, like, it's the average cost of getting something tested to see if anybody... And what kind of muscle does it build? would dare to challenge him. Bro. And so what it really cost is 350 US dollars. And so although he Googled to see how much it would cost, he didn't get the right answer. You think that Google just answers everything? Everyone thinks they're as smart as the internet right now. Oh, I put in a Google word and so I know the answer. You don't know the answer. You know how many people are just gonna fucking believe you? That's the, that's the scheme here, is that everyone's just gonna believe him. And so here's the- Checking the game? No, high investments. 
for quite a scheme. I don't need you to believe me. And making a reaction to this video for me, it's fun. Do you know what's going to do? More people are going to buy. Why? Because they're going to believe me. They might believe you as well. Why? Because more people are going to believe me. Why? Because I don't lie. I'm not full of shit. And is there anything wrong with me trying to... You do lie. You are full of shit. You're on steroids. You're creating fake muscles. I, your, your your exercise shit is fake and your cookbook is fake because it doesn't work on natural people. None of this, none of this works naturally. Sell a product that I believe in. And so let me ask you this. Is it okay that I promote and sell creatine? I think many of you will say yes. There's no law that's, that's preventing you from doing that. But you go ahead and, and sell it. It's up to really, I don't blame Greg. To tell you the truth, I don't blame Greg. I blame the people that are stupid enough to buy his shit, to listen to him. Buy a stupid cookbook and creatine. Who the fuck cooks in 2020, 2024, dude? I don't cook. I eat out most of the time. There's, it's very rare that I ever cook anything at home. And if I do, probably barbecue just some meat, whatever. And that's about it. I don't, I don't cook, bro. But like I said, I don't know, man. Creatine? Yeah, okay. Maybe you're a slave and you're really poor. You have no money. You work at McDonald's for whatever, $10 an hour or something. So you need creatine to create these phony muscles. You can't eat food, so you need these fake products to create phony fake muscles. And he's helping you with your dream and making you happy at the same time. And it's not no worse for wear because you don't know that they're fake, get it? You didn't build anything real. You didn't go through the process of damaging, repairing, and remodeling, doing some exercises that you were unaccustomed to, unfamiliar, or you were untrained to doing them. To get this damage to come back, you didn't go through the repairing and remodeling. It, protein synthesis didn't exceed this breakdown because of course you can't afford to eat so you didn't really do it the proper way of building real myofibular growth you you built sarcoplasmic growth artificial muscle hypertrophy through sarcoplasmic yeah by taking creatine but again can you distinguish between the two not particularly but you you well there is a way to do it because if you have more myofibular growth it adds more to your natural strength will go up automatically not practice strength natural strength will go up and stay consistent now does sarcoplasmic hypertrophy make you strong no it doesn't but you practice that lifting a heavy weight so you, you're fooled you think you're strong when in fact it's based on practice strength so it's forced production practice strength it isn't based on natural strength and so now, if you're saying it's okay for me to sell creatine, well, I strongly believe in creatine. I really think it works, even though 50% of people don't feel it working. In comparison, Turk Builder, I... I'm going to tell you this. All of you, when you get old, you're going to have a wake-up call. And you're going to live a long time, believe me. A lot of you are going to live long, possibly even the 90. I'm not sure. Maybe even 100, whatever. The thing is... If you keep building these phony muscles, these fake muscles and this fake strength and not building myofibular growth and increasing your natural strength, then when you get older, you're going to have a wake up call, a wake up call, all of you feel much more strongly that it's effective. This, in my opinion, works way better than creatine. I believe this. Do you think I'm lying? I believe this. Guys. This works better than creatine because this puts more, this creates more fake sarcoplasmic muscles than creatine does excessively. Yes, yeah, so I believe it does create more artificial muscles. Yes, Greg. You could say, yes, I think you're lying. I think on purpose that you're selling turkey. I absolutely do not think you're lying. I think you're absolutely correct. I think that's going to build more than creatine of these phony sarcoplasmic muscles. Yes providing you eat a lot of carbohydrate which greg already knows you do he knows that you lift and eat a lot of carbohydrates get it and this probably most likely aids in absorbing more carbohydrate drawing more drawing more water carbohydrate into the muscle get it by working harder than the last time and working harder than the last time and building more of these fake artificial muscles called sarcoplasmic hypertrophy muscles to deceive thousands tens of thousands whatever people into shelling out their money because you care so much about being no he's not you are going to build muscles but they're not going to be myofibular they're going to be sarcoplasmic so rich that you would deceive them on purpose if you believe that there is nothing i can tell you to convince you that you are wrong I don't need the money. You can believe it, and if you do, please unsubscribe.
He doesn't need the money, man. That's why he's selling you this product to create fake artificial muscles to keep you happy. I love the kid too when he showed himself there in his picture. Oh, I did what Greg said and it worked. Yes, you did. You did fake stuff to create fake muscles and you created these fake muscles at work to create these artificial sarcoplasmic muscles. <laughs> right now, yeah, I don't cringe. care. I have two plus million followers. If half of you don't believe me, get out of here. I would rather have one million followers that believe in me than two million followers that think I'm full of shit. And so, please. Of course, he only prefers to have one million uh, lifting, gym lifting, recruiting, lifting slaves. <laughs> get it? <laughs> fanboy slaves than than having 2.7 million fanboy slaves get it he's because he's still get a bank unsubscribe right now all of you who think that i'm lying about turk builder please unsubscribe right now unclick the bell button and get out of my face i don't need you i he's telling you he doesn't need you guys unsubscribe do it to show him if I were all of you fanboys right now, I would unsubscribe to Greg Doucette and show him how quickly this so-called success can banter. They will go away. See what I mean? Without you, without you slaves, without him enslaving all of you fucking uh, gym lifting fucking gym slaves, you fucking fanboys, you motherfucking fanboys out there, you fairy boys, fairy slaves that he's enslaved. Without you, this channel can't exist, get it? You understand me? He can't exist. Greg doesn't exist. The channel doesn't exist without any of you. But all you fairy, fairy fanboys are all his slaves, man. <laughs> He's enslaved all of you, yes. Just like he did that kid who's talking now. Maybe the kid's woken up, finally. He's trying to drop the shackles. I don't know. I only want people that believe me. And so, Chimera Fitness, bye. Unsubscribe. I don't want to see you. But yet, I'm still selling this. And why? Because it works. Yeah, unsubscribe. I don't want to see you. One, one of the kids actually grew a brain and woke up and said, I don't want to be a slave. You understand me? He's like, I don't want to be, I don't want to be Greg's slave. <laughs> Do I have to lie? Hey guys, I tried Turk Builder, but I'm not gonna sell it. Hey slaves, I'm not gonna, I can't, I'm not gonna sell it. I'm not gonna try it. Come on, slaves. Come on, you slaves. Because well, I think that you guys will make fun of me and call me a snake oil salesman. See, all you slaves are gonna make fun of me and call me a snake oil salesman. Come on, would I lie to you, slaves? Come on, my fanboy slaves. You fairy slaves, would I lie to you, mother beeper, you moron slaves? <laughs> he even calls you moron at the end of his video, man. Come on. Do you really think I give a shit about that? I have integrity and I know I'm not lying. I. He's got integrity and he knows that he's not lying to you slaves to enslave you harder than the last time. He's working harder than the last time to enslave as many people as he can. Know it, my friends. Enslave you to his product, to his cookbook, to his exercise regime and his Natty or Not videos. He's enslaved you. Know it, you might know it, but I don't need you to know it. If you're still watching this. He doesn't need you to know, wanna know why? Because he's already sucked you all dry, all you slaves. He's made all the profits off all you dumb slaves, get it? He sucked you dry. Then you believe in me. Because if you didn't, why are you still watching? When you look back on this video years to come, you'll say, he was right. He never tried to deceive us. When I give you my opinions, the strong opinions that I give, they are my opinions and my opinions. Sure he did, sure he did. What's the, what's the basis of? Nothing. Opinions and a whole bunch of stuff. All fake shit. And beliefs. Opinions alone. I'm not lying to you. I'm telling you the truth. And when yeah, I Yeah, he would never lie to you. Why would he lie to you, slaves? Why would Greg lie to you? Because he's confirming your fake beliefs. See what I mean? He's confirming all your fake beliefs that you believe that there's a magic pill out there. He's, he's confirming them. Why would he lie to you? See what I mean? His cookbook's going to build you muscles and everything. Why would he lie to you? Look, he's confessed to taking steroids. Oops, he got caught taking steroids. So the confession already came out. He would have to admit to it. Because if he said he wasn't, you'd be all like, hey, man, you're lying because you were... You were caught, get it? And convicted of selling steroids. Oh, too bad, right? See what I mean, man? I think you people are all fished in.
I sell Geo2 Max and say it improves cardio. I'm not saying it to make millions. He's advertising now to all of you. It's sublingual. Geo2 Max, creatine, all my products. See, my protein, this, that. He's using this. He's using the guys, the bad advertising to advertise all these products and try to convince you again to enslave you. Millions of dollars? Of course, I am making millions of dollars from selling it. He is making millions of dollars of selling it, yes. Off who? Off you slaves. His cookbook is back there. It's sublingual. Get it? This is how he's doing it. And the GO2 Max. Really intelligent. This is great marketing. But that is not the only reason. I'm saying it because it's the truth. Whether I sold it or not, I would tell you the same thing. Remember years ago when I made videos? He is telling you the truth. He is confirming your fake beliefs that lifting a heavy weight, getting a stronger is going to get you bigger, eating GO2 Max and all that is going to build you a muscle, built in four pounds, and a whole bunch of stuff. Get it? And yeah, doing exercises, all that, going to build muscles, da, da, da. Doing all these weird things. And his programs are going to build muscles. Blah, whatever. Hey, the top five fat burners that work. And I said over-the-counter yeah, yeah. fat burners work. And then years later, people said, oh, Coach Greg, he's saying fat burners work now because he's selling it. Before I sold it, I said in videos that I took fat burners that they work. See, he took these fat burners, but he's on steroids, though, and they worked. So if you're on steroids and taking fat burners, right? So you're creating it artificially with steroids, but you took a fat burner. Did it work? Of course it worked because he's on steroids. Everything works. Yes, of course. Today's topic is my top five fat burners. And so does Turk Builder work? Yes, it does. Now, if tens of thousands... Of course it does because Greg's on steroids. That's why it works. Get it, bro? <laughs> That's why it works. Tons of people buy it and a couple say, oh, I didn't notice it. It's bound to happen. I used to sell steroids. People would say, hey, I'm using Ativar. It doesn't work. I don't. See, he used to sell steroids. Why, would, why, did, why did he used to sell steroids? Because he knows that exercise and eating doesn't build muscles. Exercise does not build muscles. Lifting a heavy weight doesn't build muscles. Get it? And eating a shitload of food doesn't build muscles, but it will. It could create artificial muscles because you could load a lot of glycogen energy in your muscles and in your fat cells. Feel it. I'm thinking, you're using the same shit I am, and I know for sure it works. So even steroids, some people say it doesn't work. And so, yeah, some of you out there might buy Turk Builder. Man, they work to create an artificial cosmetic look, but it's temporary. But um, if it's fake steroids, of course they won't work. Be like, um, no. He was selling fake steroids to people at one point. Don't you know? Don't you guys know Greg Doucette? When he got caught, they said that he started moving to to sell people. He told his these guys that he was dealing with. He told them just sell them fake steroids. Just put oil in the bottle and sell it fake to these people. Yeah, make profit selling fake oil. Maybe he did that because he thought he was on the verge of getting caught. So if he got caught selling something to people as being steroids, well. There's no steroid in the bottle, so they can't they can't charge him for selling a drug, but they could probably get him on like I don't know fake advertising. Like he said, it was a steroid, but there's just oil in the bottle, and that probably that was the reason why he moved to try to sell fake steroids. But by the time he moved to do that, they got him. They knew, they knew he was going to do it, and then they 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 arrested him right away on the real steroids. Not sure it works. I don't know. It's a scam. 50% of the people using creatine with thousands of studies say it works. They can't feel it. Just because you can't feel creatine, does that mean it's not working? I don't think so. Just because you can't feel it? What are you supposed to feel? What does it feel like? Tingling or something? What's he talking about? The thousands of studies support it, so it's okay to sell creatine. Well, I get it. There isn't thousands of studies supporting turn killer. It. It's going to take years, decades to get yeah. that research. But I can tell you right now, it is on Wada's watch list. And so be careful. Maybe in the future, it in fact will get banned. We've written Neurotropics Depot. Have you tested our product? We've done everything in our power to ensure that we are selling real turkesterone at HCLT SUPS. We had our products tested by both Alchemist and an independent university lab in France and also verified via HPTLC testing for our Turk Builder. It's an aerial extract of the Arjuga Turkesterina. Their response, Arjuga? no, we haven't tested yours yet. Arjuga tested? Arjuga? 
we have some here at our facility and is being submitted to the lab. MEL should be reaching back out to you to discuss the testing and possible collaboration on the lab side. Wouldn't we be reaching out to lab testers saying, I dare you to test it if it wasn't real? Other companies, that's what they do. Notice it only seems to be Coach Greg. Oh, he sold Turkesterone. He's a bad guy. No one else ever did that. I mean, C-Bum Company would never have sold that, right? Derek never would have sold that, right? And dozens of others. And did we change our label claim to meet exactly what was on the label? Yep. Were we honest and upfront about it, everything? Yep, of course we were. And so what I'm saying, Turk Builder has Turkestron in it right now, that we've supported a very rare find in its best as can. Do you not believe me? Remember. Steroids, what kind of, what kind of muscles would a supplement build? Artificial muscles. You can't build real muscles because the FDA... If it did actually even build real stuff, which they don't, they're all artificial, they take it away. But it's not a drug, it's a supplement. Like I said, if a supplement could build a muscle, everybody would be taking it. Of course you do, because you're still watching this video. If you had not, you would have unsubscribed by now. For reference, I've taken turkesterone before. Ultimately, you guys want to know what I noticed? From okay, he took turkesterone, and what? You think that a turkesterone builds a myofibular? You have to be insane. That's not what builds myofibulars. Turkesterone, maybe a slight increase in strength, an increase in hunger, and that's about it. What does he expect? Does he expect the same? Yeah, I wouldn't doubt. I wouldn't doubt that. Yeah, the muscle you're building in an adapted state is sarcoplasmic. <laughs> I just think people don't understand what that is. Oh, I got so much hunger and so much stronger. It was stronger than test mixed with meth. It's a natural supplement, at least right now. Of course, it's on Wada's watch list. But to me, it more than... Ex what? Did he just say it's a natural supplement? It's not natural. Natural is what you found find out in nature. It's not natural. It's man-made. What are you talking about? Seated label claim. You use the supplement and got stronger, got hunger. What more do you want? I will give him the benefit of the doubt. Yeah, I didn't take... Like the health food store. It says nature's best on it. Nature's best? It's not from nature, it's man-made. His f***ing Uzbekistanian triple-checked f***ing turkesterone, okay? And so what he actually took, I believe, was Turk Builder from the past, which we've relabeled as Ecti Builder. And so, yes, that, in fact, does build muscle. We had tens of thousands of people buy it, and the results were over-the-moon positive. Way better than creatine, but no, it had to have been the placebo effect. And so what I said... I okay, so it draws more uh, water into the muscles, creating these phony muscles, than creatine does. Because that's what creatine does. Put on four pounds in a month. How much did you put on? Did you put on any? Perhaps you only put on two. Does that mean it's impossible for me to put on four only because you put on two? Or is it possible that I'm a hyper responder? Perhaps I grow faster than other people who are, have average genetics. You ever think I was an IPV pro bodybuilder? That perhaps I had better genetics that I can feel supplements more? They compare turkesterone to low-dose Anivar. That's already an insane comparison. Really? Why is Terkestrone compared to low-dose Anivar a ridiculous comparison? I'm willing to bet that if I were to sell him in secret low-dose Anivar and he took it, he probably wouldn't even notice he's taking it. Maybe make him a bit stronger and a bit hungrier. Sound familiar? That's exactly what he felt when taking Turk Builder. He takes it a step... <laughs> Ever felt like you're missing out on the stock market action because you're not quite sure where to start? Let's talk builder. He takes it a step further than that and says it's more along the lines of test sus and halo testing. I said it makes you aggressive in that way. And so being that you're natural and haven't used these products, how can you attest to that? You've never taken test suspension or halo testing. You don't know how that makes you feel. Halo makes you very aggressive, makes you... How does it make you feel, Greg? You tell us. You're the drug you're the drug addict professional, yes. Greg's gonna tell us, man, he's gonna educate us. Wanna attack the weights. Not really good for your mental health. It doesn't make you think clearly. It's not the best feeling in the world. Sometimes you get a bit of anxiety. And so perhaps you take Turk Builder and you're on edge. 
you know, can't sleep as well? Are these positive things or perhaps reasons to stay away from it? Now remember, I say the good, the bad, and the ugly. I didn't say everything about Turk Builder is amazing. I didn't say that it's for everyone. In fact, please don't take this if you're a teenager. This is for people who are older. You've reached that plateau. You're a mature adult, and you know the risks. Remember, it's on WADA's watch list. They may, in fact, be banning it. It's very difficult to ban. They need to establish certain thresholds. How much can you have in it before it's deemed as being a positive versus a negative? And so maybe in the future, they will, in fact, ban it. But for right now, it's not currently banned. Greg just claimed that Turkesterone is good for diabetes, anemia, and it ups quality of life. If a study said that creatine works, and I say, hey, there's a study that says creatine works, you get mad at me for reading the study? And so if there's studies that saying that Turk Builder does this, it does that, it can reduce anemia and so on, that's used in hospital studies, that potentially has this benefit, that benefit, is there something wrong with that? I'm reporting what the science is saying. How can we learn without reading science? If it was this f***ing good, you don't think that somebody would be like, there's this stuff that you guys haven't put on a list? Anti-steroids, of which turkestrone is one of them, is in fact on the list. And so in the last eight months, they've done two studies to detect ectosterone. They're after this. They may in fact be banned. Be more careful than last time. And so does that not make you think twice? You watch this video and you thought, oh my goodness, he just buried Coach Greg. He, he's such an idiot. He's a scam artist. Am I really? Or am I just telling you what I think based on what I've read, based on what I feel? That gives me comparable results to three banned compounds that you guys have on the World Doping Agency banned list? Did I say gave comparable results to three banned compounds? Or did I say a small dose of one compound, of which it was Anivar, and the aggressive part, the way it made you feel for the other two? You see how that's a big difference? I'm not saying it does the same thing from a hypertrophic standpoint. I'm saying it makes me feel that way. And so you see how people can mislabel what I'm saying? I'm stocking up. I'm not an idiot. I'm stocking up. I got 100 bottles coming to my house because I don't want to miss out. And I can guarantee you this. This is going to sell out. And it was sold out. And it sold out again. It's sold out right now. As I'm recording this video, it's sold out. It just goes to show you how many people are slaves. It's sold out right now. It's sold out because you're all slaves. And all these fanboys are slaves. Man, he's enslaved a lot of people. Selling you... He's selling you what you want to hear. And not only that, the reviews are amazing. It's not just me saying this. Remember, people have bought this and they've rebought it. Yes, they bought it. I bought their Kestron a week ago and I am on one capsule per day and I really like the results so far. Let me begin saying that I personally do not feel any side effects. No, there's no side effects. Why would there be side effects if you, if you take, uh, why would there be a side effect? Because it's made from plants. It would be toxic, wouldn't it? Okay, sleeps related or hunger related or other people do maybe on only because of my low dosage. Why? I usually take one capsule early in the morning. Okay, I can feel more energized. And you feel energized? My calories and uh, myself slightly leaner. I see myself slightly leaner. That's you're crazy. Without changing them from before taking Turkestron. Definitely stronger. You're definitely better at lifting. You got stronger. Okay. Okay. Maybe you're old. You're well, how old are you? 80 years old, and you need this pill to feel a little bit stronger, get a little bit more force production. Okay. Didn't really uh, notice size gain so far. I believe just because I am at the beginning of the cycle. Cycle. This guy could. This guy literally thinks that this is a steroid. And maybe because I am taking only one capsule daily. Look, I'm taking a natural steroid. <laughs> I am considering taking two capsules probably when I finish the first bottle. I bought five and see if something changes. And what do you think it's going to build you exactly? This so-called cycle and you lifting. What do you think it's going to build you? Wow, people are really whacked. They like it. Bro just made a commercial inside of his commercial it's what i do but you gotta love the fucking combination limited stock and bandwagon effect like marketing tactic do you really think that i want to have limited quantities do you really think i want to not have enough of it do you really think i love to just sell out and then not have it available for them yeah just tell people it's limited so that they can keep buying it and it's always available though
month? You don't think I'd make more money if I had more of it to sell? Do you really think I'm happy right now that I have no seagull bars? Yeah, you are making more money telling people that it's limited and they'll buy it because they think it's limited, so they'll buy it. It's a great marketing ploy. In stock that we've been sold out, that I haven't got any more. Do you know how much money that cost me? I like not running out, but I'm telling you, people are buying it. I give first dibs to people or newsletters. The best marketing is there's, o there's only two left in stock. <laughs> <laughs> get it and every time people are buying but every time they buy there's only two left in stock hurry up before before it ends okay subscribers is there something wrong with that trying to reward the people who are long-term fans people who are just browsing the channel that aren't really fans hey you get second dips is that bad he's like oh yeah by the way just for those of you plebeians who may have actually taken turkestrone and didn't see anything from it ours is even more special because it has these other things in it too what he's saying right now about it's not just turkestrone there's other ecti steroids for example 20 he they all have an effect they all work synergistically together It'd be like me saying hey if you drink a cup of coffee there's caffeine in here this is going to give you a boost to your workout doesn't mean that the only ingredient here that works is caffeine there's a whole list of ingredients that all work synergistically to better to give you your best possible workout and give you your best possible slave workout to slave you better than the last time great well i think it's a little disingenuous of him to just say oh he's talking like this and talking like that he's not really honest about it when you really analyze the product when you compare turkestron to what he is honest in the bottle it's not just turkestrone i don't want it to just be turkestrone it's a host of several different ecti steroids that work in unison together oh it's it's all these these ecti steroids and they all work in unison together so, so it's not just one type Okay. In the same way that different stims, different products work together in your pre-workout. Yeah, it's only a... Oh, is that how it works? I guess I'm going out to buy some now right away because I need this. ...from that one. This is an excellent commercial for Turk Builder. Not just Turkestrone, but Turk Builder specifically. Thank you for saying that of a great commercial for Turk Builder. That is, in fact, what it is. It's a great commercial. Why would I not advertise what I'm selling effectively? Is there anything wrong with being an effective marketer? Not only am I honest telling you exactly what it does, I'm at the same time allowing you to buy it. I'm selling it. That is what we do in a free market society. Show of hands to, uh, to all the enhanced bros uh, who are genuinely going to pop off of their f***ing gear to see how much gains they keep on Turkesterone. And so your blast intestine trend right now, you know all good things come to it again. You're going to have to go off. Perhaps you put on 20 pounds of muscle. Would you want to keep 10 or 15? Or would you rather lose 15 or 10? Which... See, guys, you probably gained 20 pounds of muscle. How much would you rather keep, though, of it? Why, why is there a problem keeping this muscle? If you build myo, a, a myofibular, then why would you not be able to keep it? Isn't it real? I thought this stuff builds muscles. Hey, Greg? Oh, it builds sarcoplasmic muscles. Okay. Sounds better. Keeping more of the muscle that you build while taking steroids or losing more. And so I'm not saying that everyone taking test and trend is suddenly going to stop taking it and use Turk Builder instead. But certainly it could help them lower their dose or perhaps come off and cycle on and off because most people doing steroids are taking it perhaps for 12 weeks on, 12 weeks off. And then when they're in their off period, they might take Turk Builder to help keep more of their gains. Does that sound bad? Is that really something bad that you should try to discourage? This is a great alternative for women to taking steroids because they don't want the masculinization. Turkestrone won't masculinize you. It also won't give you steroid like... I mean, my whole channel in the beginning, my original channel when I opened it, was to save people, was to give them a, an option to build real muscles so they didn't have to always build fa these fake sarcoplasmic muscles. I didn't really know how to explain it to them properly that they were all building sarcoplasmic muscles. And people complained about me talking about muscle damage and this and that. In building myofibular growth and hyperplasia doesn't exist and all that. Myonuclear division doesn't exist and yeah, hyperplasia doesn't exist and all that. Well, how the fuck do you build myofibular growth then? Then how do you build muscles if it doesn't exist? I know. Just load a bunch of glycogen in there. Eat these products and they'll draw more glycogen in there, building more sarcoplasmic fake artificial muscle growth. Great. Gains. I did not say that it gives you steroid-like gains. Yes, you did. I said steroid-like effects. He said gains. He said effects. He said everything. It makes you more aggressive. You don't want to sleep as much. 
Does that not count steroid-like effects? And so, yeah, it's so easy to make this video and make me look like an asshole, stay close to him. Yeah, it's fun. I get it. You click make my name, you can become... Uh, Greg, Greg is changing the thing. He said gains. He said gains. He's, he meant gains. He's talking about steroid-like gains. More popular. And no, you don't sell supplements, and so you have nothing to lie about. But you're trying to be a fitness influencer. You're trying to get famous, and you're trying to do so by shitting on me because it's... No, he's not. He's not an influencer trying to get famous or anything. What he's trying to do is he's trying to put out the word. He, that's all. He's just uh, informing people. That's all. That's all he's doing. Cool to shit on me because you think I'm selling snake oil. And so I get it. I understand why you're doing this. You take testosterone, you take growth hormone secreted God. Off the top of your head right now, instantaneously. What is giving you better results? Turk Builder. Off the top of my head, Turk Builder can be better results than MK677. I've done both. MK677, oh I don't like the way it makes me feel. It makes me bloated. So which one's going to give you better gains in artificial muscle growth, MK77 or Turk Builder? Again, this, this kid is, is kind of brainwashed to himself still. He still doesn't understand that none of these products build muscle. But yeah, I like the way he, he compared the two, definitely, yeah. Which one's going to give you better gains? You mean the phony gains? Both are going to give you... Both are going to give you phony gains, but one may give you more than the other. Yes. Holds a lot of water, get a puffy moon face in comparison. Turf See? Builder makes me look more. See what he, he admitted to it. More water, puffy face, fake muscles. Tread. I look more like this and less like a bloated piece of shit. MK677. He looks like that because I'm MK. No, he looks like that because Greg is taking steroids. I don't like it. This project demonstrates the performance enhancing effect of anti steroids in humans. Thus, our. Oh, the performing enhancing effect. Do you want to perform, eh? You're a performer, like in a circus. Results strongly suggest including anti steroids in class S1 anabolic agents. Full stop. And so Eisenman et al., this is his concluding statements in regards to anti steroids. Do I need to reread that? Yes, I think I do. But because yeah. you guys are not all smart enough, I'm going to summarize what that means. See, guys, all of you are not smart enough to read through Greg Doucette's bullshit. Cut through it. So he's going to do it for you. This research guy, this dude, he did dude. research on acne steroids, and his conclusion is that they offer performance-enhancing effects, they build muscle, they're anabolic, and they should be classified as such, and therefore water should ban it. Does that sound like something that doesn't work? Does it sound like... Really, it does, does it? How, though, does it do it? Maybe it could be better than MK677, something this guy has never even used. He's never used steroids, never used MK, never used SARMs. He knows nothing about them. He just knows that I'm a snake oil salesman because he said so. But like, dude, I owe a ton of my progress to Greg is the thing. I hate that he's not real anymore. Am I an, an AI generated image? It, I, it feels, I feel real right now. Maybe it's fake biceps. I added some peak. It's fake. It's AI generated. I'm real. Hey, don't buy any of my supplements because I'm real. I'm so real. I tell you not to buy anything. And my cookbook, don't buy it. I don't ever eat any of the recipes in the cookbook that I created. Really, is that being real or is real not telling you the truth? The truth is I use these products, they work, they're effective, and I am selling it, and if you don't want to buy it, that's fine! Every single video feels like a commercial now, and that's just not cool. I don't f*** with it, man. Every time I used to watch a TV show when I was a kid, there was a commercial, and it would sell me something, a G.I. Joe character, friggin' McDonald's or whatever. It's how we make money. And so is there something wrong with me making money? Do you know that I make money on ads? You, may make, you know I made over a million dollars in ads in a year from having commercials on my videos should i take off all the commercials how dare me try to make a million dollars from commercials on youtube should i get rid of all those why would i do this should i have to give away my cookbooks for free i am not allowed to make money because i just love fitness am i not allowed to love fitness and try to improve lives and make money at the same time the millions of lives that i've helped can i not make money no of course not greg you should make money Confirming these fake beliefs and selling more of these fake supplements, yes. 
the same time, notice, I don't have 100 athletes like other supplement companies. For example, Derek, 100 athletes, perhaps, I'm just making a number up, maybe has only 50, maybe has only 180. I don't know. But a lot of other people are advertising for them. I'm almost a one-man show. I have to advertise my own supplements. If it's not me advertising, I'm going to have to pay millions of dollars for commercials to go everywhere. Instagram, Facebook, wherever. Commercials. Because that is how you make money. You have to advertise. And so just because I advertise... That That's how you make money. You have to advertise and scam people. Doesn't mean I'm somehow fake. I have the first cookbook. I bought the first cookbook from him. And it's a great fucking product. Wow, this kid's a really good slave, eh? I'd love to I love to get these kind of slaves, man. They're amazing. Bought my cookbook and shit, Tukestron, a bunch of garbage. I love it. I love it. I still use the recipes from it, man. But man, I just He loves this he loves the artificial slave diet, being a slave, being enslaved by Craig Doucette, watching his slave videos. Yeah, man. It's not a believer in turkesterone. Then don't buy turkesterone. Wow, so that's the only thing that this slave didn't like was the turkesterone. Because it didn't work for him. Because it's fake. Yeah. It didn't create him the, the artificial muscles that he was looking for. And so now he's pissed. Buy something else or don't buy anything. You bought my first... You know, I gotta watch out when the slaves start to fight back. They, they bite back. Cookbook, great. I have Cookbook 3.0 and the newest one. It's the best one by far. It's amazing. If you don't want to buy turkey... Usually in the old days, they just take out the slave. But now, he has to, he has to battle it out in a video with the slave. With one of his slaves. Don't buy testosterone. You don't need to buy it. GO2 Max. Maybe that's what you want. Maybe you want creatine. Maybe you only want things that have been studied for years. Whatever. Or buy nothing. Atta boy, Greg. Put that slave back in his fucking place, that mother. Or go to my freaking website and get my free, close to 50-page diet and training program. Free! Give it away close to 100,000 of these. Could have sold it for 50, maybe even $100. 50 times 100,000 copies is $5 million. 100, it's $10 million. Gave it away free. Oh, he only cares about money. Yeah, that's why I gave away close to 100,000 free, up to 50-page diet and training programs. It's 50 pages, not some freaking copy-paste, one-page bullshit. Product. It's something you work months on for free, but let's complain. He makes money. I hate him. Do you even listen to yourself? Do you see what you sound like? And if you're not interested in that, you can also get my supplements. You can use code Greg for 15% off if you do, in fact, want them. If you don't want them, don't get them. Get the free diet and training program. Become one of the 300,000 plus newsletter subscribers. Ending it here. Subscribe, click the bell button, comment to boost the algorithm. Don't forget to like the video if you like it. Watch one of those two bloops. Also, for cookbooks, training books, coaching plans by me and my team, phone consult, cameos, head over to our website. Thanks for watching, and until next time, I am out. All right, friends, tell me what you think about that. Like, subscribe, support the channel. I'll see you in the next video, man. That was ridiculous shit, man. Ciao. Most of us have